Hi, welcome to the third video in this series. In this video, we are going to go through how to set up a user sign up, login, and logout system. Let's start our local server environment. We start Apache and we have to start our database, MySQL. So if we click on admin, this is our server environment. And if we click on this admin, it goes to our database php my admin if we go to our root folder c zam hd docs okay. we create a new folder we can call it page builder this will be our project folder enter it next we start our atom we should have downloaded this earlier on then we click on file add project folder and we select the folder which we created just now. We select our project folder, page builder. We let's close this. Click on new file, create a new PHP file called index.php. Then in here, we shall test if our server is working. Open square bracket, question mark, PHP. Enter, enter, question mark, close square brackets so in between here we shall type our php codes echo open quote hello world test one two three four five and end with a semicolon we have to save this file if the file is not saved you will see a blue dot here so you can either press ctrl s on your keyboard or you can go to file and save and that blue dot disappeared if you look at our local host and we type page builder here this is what we type just now in our atom next let's download the plugin from github i will include this url in the description below click on clone or download Download zip. Once download finish, open up the zip file. Enter the directory. We are going to copy everything here into our root folder. Open our root folder. Select all and drag it. So yes, move but keep both files. Next. We can rename it as login.php. So if you look at this login plugin, I would like to disable the email verification function. If you are going to deploy this to your live web server, you probably should have this function for extra security. But I don't need it for now, so I'm going to disable it. If we look at our index.php, I would like to temporarily have a login and a sign up link here. So we do that, we go to our atom. We type in a href slash a. Login. Copy the same thing. We can have sign up here. So this login, I'm going to link it to my login.php and the sign up, I'm going to link it to sign up to login slash sign up. So login, I'm going to link to this file. I'm going to link to this file here. So because it's in the same directory. So I can just call it login.php for sign up. I like to link to this file. So it's in the login folder. Sign up.php. Save it. Control S. Refresh this one. Oh, we have it here. Maybe we, we can remove this. Let's remove that. Save and 
refresh. Okay. So this will bring us to the login page and this will bring us to the sign up page. We can't really do anything because we need to load in the database. We need to load in the database, look at the readme file. We need to create a database. So if we go back to our PHP MyAdmin, create a new database name, we call it page builder and create. Go back to our Atom, the readme file, copy this whole chunk of text, copy, go back to PHP MyAdmin, make sure we select the table, go to SQL, here in this space we control V to paste everything we copied earlier and go. So if we look at page builder, early on it was empty, now it has two tables. We need to make some changes to this members table. We click on it, go to structure. We need to add in one more column at the end to hold our HTML coding. So we add one column, click on go, content, Call, let's name it content and the type we shall select as text and save. And that's all we need to do for this. We don't need this anymore. Next, we need to configure the database. If we click this one. So host is always localhost. If you are using this localhost, By default, username is root, password is empty, and the database name is what we created earlier on, page builder. Save it. The next file we need to change is create user. I don't want the verification email to be sent, so I'm going to comment it out. Slash asterisk and asterisk slash followed by save close it and the next file we are going to change is under includes folder by default this verified column will be filled in after you verify the email but now we are disabling it so at this point in time i'm just going to make it verify itself after sign up without having to verify the email so add in the column verify and put in the value one save it and close it and there's one more file we have to edit because if we look at the plugin, after we sign up, we will receive this message. Now, I don't want this message. I want to replace this message with a link to bring me to the login page. To change this, we go to the JS folder, open up signup.js, scroll down, look for this line number 26, delete this, fill it with a href equals single quotes we shall link it to dot dot slash login slash main login dot php this double dot means go back two directories so it goes back to one two directories access the login folder and link to the main login.php file which is the login file we are interested in and give it a text we call it login when we are done we save this file having changed that let's test out our sign up system so if we go to our localhost refresh it it's always a good idea to refresh Click on sign up, 
Okay, we register, we call ourselves demo1, for example. Demo1 at demo1.com and demo1, demo1, just any password. Click on sign up, it becomes a login button. If you look at our database, we click on members, we see, hey, we have a new entry here and it's verified. Next, we want to test our login system. If we can log in using the credentials that we just created, if we click on login and we input the username and password we just created, click on sign in and we get to this page. It works. We have the entry in our database. After I log in, I'd like to redirect to another page that says you have been successfully logged in. Go back to our Atom. We open up login.js and look for this line number 19. You comment out. Instead of location.reload, we comment this out. We like to activate this location.assign and we like to bring ourselves to login.php and save it. So the other file we need to change is main login.php. Click on it. Location, we change it to login.php and let's do a test so login yeah we have successfully logged in now let us log out and try again see now we are directed to this page so let's do a quick summary of what we did so if we go to our main index this is our main index.php page they can sign up Or they can log in so this is our index.php page the user can sign up or the user can log in now if they log in they will be redirected to this page that says they have logged in and now uh, in the next lecture we will put in functions where they can drag and drop stuff into here and create their own page we have created our sign up login logout system see you in the next video